much, welcome to uh, your next lesson in this lockdown learning in the EE. Um, today we're going to look at plyometric training. Now plyometric training, for those of you who are doing GCSE this, or want to do GCSE or the Cambridge National at Key Stage 4, this is going to uh, give you a real heads up. Those of you that don't or don't choose to do PE, this is still really beneficial because it can improve and impact upon how you train for the sports that you may play outside of school. So this really does have a benefit for everybody. So what is plyometrics training? Well, plyometrics training firstly is suitable for power-based athletes. Okay, so if you think about any sort of sport, at some point in that sport, it's gonna have an element of power to it. And how would we define power? Well, it's speed times strength. So it's been able to do something quickly whilst also maintaining your strength, okay? So if we think about footballers, think about someone like Dominic Calvert-Lewin, uh, you know, he can jump really, really high. So often you see his uh, feet at the, with the shoulder of the defender, okay? That's a power-based activity. Think about a golfer, as they swing the golf club, they swing it quickly and they've got strength whilst they're doing it. So it's a power-based activity, all right? Think about the weightlifter who does a clean and press and puts the weight above their head. It's a power-based activity. Now, when we're performing in plyometrics, the key thing that makes this different to normal strength training is that your muscles work differently, okay? So normally, when you walk or something like that, your muscle would shorten when it's working. And that's called a concentric contraction, concentric. When we're doing plyometrics, our muscles work differently. So instead of the working muscle, uh, contracting concentrically, it's now going to contract, and here's a key word, eccentrically. That means that the muscle's lengthening as it's working, and it's that change in contraction type that allows you to become more powerful through using plyometrics training. Okay, now it involves activities that you can do at home, and in a minute, we're going to show you some activities that would uh, include plyometrics training. Okay. Things such as bounding, hopping, jumping, they all allow these muscles to work differently. To work eccentrically, lengthening, uh, rather than concentrically shortening, which would happen normally. Okay, so this is a bit of an abnormal way to train, if you want to call it like that. So, Miss Hunter is kindly going to demonstrate for us. All right. Now, before you do your circuit at home, it's really important that you warm up because plyometric training puts the body under more stress than normal. Your muscles aren't used to working like this, so you make sure you've got to do a warm up before you engage in this. So four activities, Miss, to start with. So our first one is gonna be a box jump. Now you could do this just on your bottom stair at home, okay? So just on and off, Miss. On the box, go. two feet on, sink into the hips, into the uh, heels, and down again. You're gonna go up, use the arms to push. As you get more confident, try and get more height. Remember, we're looking at the power of the push up, and that's your box squat. Okay, so you're going to do that for 45 seconds and then give yourself a 15 second rest. As soon as you've had your rest, you're going into your second activity, which is going to be a burpee. Okay? So we're going to do a full floor length burpee. So at the end, when we go into the press up position, we're going to Superman. So we've got a nice big, powerful action coming off the floor again. We're going to start with a jump, down to the press up, Superman. Same thing, 45 seconds, burpees, 15 rest. Next plyometric activity is going to be jump lunges, please, miss. So the idea with this is we want to get a nice 90 degree angle on the front knee and the back knee, making sure the weight is going directly over the front leg. We don't want to go too far forward, knee in line with the toe, opposite arms, opposite leg. Again, speed, time, strength, it's a power based activity. 45 seconds of those, 15 rest, and your final one is a squat jump. So like we did with the box over here, only this time we've got a nice flat surface so we can get nice and high up into the air. Sink into the hips, into the heels, nice and low and push and push. Brilliant, thanks Miss. Now once you've done that, okay, so you do 45, 15, 45, 15, 45, 15, 45, 15, that's one round. The eight, and after you've done one round, you can have a full minute's rest. Okay, and then you're going to repeat that for six times in total. All right, so key things to remember, power-based activity, suitable for power-based athletes, muscles work different, differently, concentrically and eccentrically. This focuses on eccentric contractions 
and you must make sure you've warmed up the cool down before you do this. Right? Fill in the assignment, give it the best shot you've got, 